Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a new video. So today guys, I'm gonna show you my new tiny dual resonance solid state Tesla coil. I built a complete circuit for the tiny Tesla coil in an old computer power supply case. This has the advantage that the complete circuit is well shielded. Furthermore, it looks very compact. Inside the case are 15 volt power supply, dual resonance solid state Tesla coil driver board, half bridge with cooling, basket bester and even a fiber optic connector. The 12 volt vent is used to cool the half bridge. The potentiometers on the front side are part of the interrupter, they can be used to set the pulse width and the pulse frequency. But more about that later. The primary coil is connected to these two cables and the lower end of the secondary coil is connected to this cable. The switch is for changing the interrupt mode. The lower socket is for 230 volts and the upper one is a connection for the variac which supplies only the half bridge. Safety is taken care of. I installed the IGBTs in a way that you can easily change them if they break. By the way, these are 60 and 65 IGBTs. Let's move on to the most important part of a Tesla coil, the coil itself. The primary coil is flat wound and has 6 turns. The secondary coil has about 2300 turns with a 0.05mm wire. That's thin. Therefore, the resonant frequency with top load is about 300kHz. Also, I have insulated the coil with epoxy resin to avoid flashovers. But before we come to the test, I want to show you the schematic. So guys, I will now present you the circuit diagram. At the first view, the circuit may look complicated, but actually it's very simple if you divide the circuit into a few parts. Let's begin with the feedback. This is where everything starts. From the lower end of the secondary coil, a signal is fed into the hex inverter via the 1 to 100 rep transformer. The signal is at the beginning a sine wave signal, it has the resonance frequency of the secondary coil. The hex inverter turns the sine wave signal into a square wave signal. Then the signal goes to the GDT driver. The GDT driver consists out of two ICs, a UCC37321 and a UCC37322. Both ICs amplify the square wave signal. The UCC37321 inverts the signal additionally. The input of an interrupter must not be missing, otherwise the dual resonance solid state Tesla coil would work in continuous wave modus and that would be not possible. So let's talk about the interrupter. With this schematic we have two options. On the one hand we can use the NE505 interrupter. With this we can set the pulse width and the pulse frequency. Or we can use the interrupter and get the signal from a fiber receiver. But of course this is not necessary. So at this switch we can simply change the interrupter input. The feedback circuits, interrupter and the GDT driver need a power supply. And this we have here. The two voltage regulators make sure that we have a 12 volt and a 5 volt output. The GDT driver needs 15 volts, so the input voltage should also be 15 volts. The signal which is amplified by the GDT driver now passes the GDT or gate drive transformer. This transformer has three different windings which are all 1 to 1 to 1 wound. 8 windings are fine. Now the signal from the gate drive transformer goes into the half bridge, better said, into the gate of the IGBTs. It is necessary that the one signal is shifted by 180 degrees. We do this by swapping the two outputs of one winding. It is best to connect a variac to the half bridge because then you can slowly turn up the voltage. The primary capacitor has to be adjusted of course. I will now add all component values so that you can build the circuit. You can also download the schematic in the video description. If you find all this too complicated, you can also split the whole circuit on several boards. Then you don't lose the overview. So guys, that was enough theory for today. Let's come to a very epic test.
<laughs> guys, that was absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, the epoxy resin didn't prevent the secondary call from flashovers, so I think this call is trash. Let's come to an end. I hope you really enjoy this video. Like the video, subscribe my channel, and then we will see us in the next project.